People are very quickly deceived today and led astray by articles and news reports. <laughs> I'm laughing because of what's on the screen. I'm not going to talk about it. We've learned our lesson from our friends at YouTube, but you can figure it out. Led astray by articles and news reports that present different questionable theories, often passed off as historical facts by pseudo intellectuals. Sound familiar? I think we lived through this last couple of years, didn't we? Let me read that again. People, this is him talking 40 years ago. All right. 40 years ago, he said this. He could say, what would he say if he lived through the last five years? Uh, yeah. People are very quickly deceived and led astray by articles and news reports. What about by mass media, videos, Netflix, that present different questionable theories often passed off as historical facts by pseudo-intellectuals? Christians are so quickly shaken and so easily, uncritically accept anything these days. <laughs> God have mercy. I am very afraid that if the real person of the false prophet were to come, because thus far we have been dealing with the forerunners of the false prophet, that great masses of Christians would be easily swayed. I can't agree more. Geroda Athanasie. Elder Athanasius, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Indeed. I want to just stop here and Let's just drive that home. What he said applied today. I think all of you, if you were alive from 2020, 2021, you know how all of this was at play. And if if that's if he's talking about this in the 80s in Greece, what would he say in the in the 2000, 2022 in America, where many, many, many churches were shut down? Many, many, many people were afraid for their lives, Christians, Orthodox Christians. Many, many people did blasphemous things like introduce multiple spoons. Many, many people took things into their body, which obviously were not blessed by God. They were not blessed by God. They were not inspired by God. They were not necessary in order to be protected in the midst of this mass delusion that was what we lived through in 2021 22 all right so let's not go back to that there's rumors right now you hearing them probably there's rumors that it's coming back in china they're doing in california mass mandates okay so let's hope we all learned our lesson he says great mass of christians would be easily swayed as they were. I'm warning you just as the Lord had warned. Lo, I have told you beforehand, he says. I'm warning you. Nonetheless, we see people who come here daily, who hear these words, and at any given moment, we see them being swayed. This means that our Christians do not have roots or a solid foundation. They can hardly stand. They lack the solid base of the faith. They are ungrounded. I'm 